Oh, hi, I haven't seen you there. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How's your mother? The last patch I did, you can check it out around here. It was very well received. I think it's time for a new one. This time is an actual effect. More specifically, it's a multi-effect plugin slash patch, call it whatever you want. Ladies, boys, pets, nerds, I present to you the Hinancer. The idea was to create a patch for vocals. I was testing it, I found out that it worked very well on synth and other instruments as well. Everything that is focused on the mid range and the high range. Just don't use it on a sub bass and you're fine. I'll do my best to keep this video as short as possible, but first of all, let me explain the flow of the signal. We have an input a slider here that controls the input volume of the signal and then we have a compressor. It works very well on vocals and anything organic. This one is the threshold and this is a makeup game. Then the signal gets splitted into seven sands and the main source in the end will still sound natural and just not over processed. So we have seven sands plus the dry signal they get reunited into this equalizer that controls the balance of everything and in the end we have a side control which is just a tool that allows you to control the side information so we're gonna test this one on a vocal that it's not very well recorded on another vocal that it's more professionally recorded and a bunch of synths so let's start with the bad sounding vocal because the result can be quite obvious so let's full reset this one let's go the first thing i'm noticing in this vocal is that it has loud peaks and quiet parts let's start compressing it especially these loud parts we can loop this part actually we can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care it always makes my see we're compressing it quite a lot let's increase the makeup game the way you leave me in the dark aren't you clever so this part is louder this one and i can't predict and i can't predict the change and i can't predict it's quieter, as you can hear. Let's start adding some effects. This one, it's a parallel analog saturation. Of course, it's not analog, but it emulates an analog saturation. It has a lot of color and helps to bring everything you're processing up from the mix. And with this knob, we can control the amount of saturation. If we click mute dry, we can mute the mix signal and monitor all the effects together but by clicking these buttons we can mute single effects we can actually solo every effect one by one and monitor them and see what we're adding to the main source and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care it always makes my day so we are adding this thing and i can't predict changes everything's so strange let's play around with this knob and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care let's hear it in action and I can't predict the changes Everything's so strange But never mind, I never care Next one we have warmth And if a vocal sounds a little bit thin We can add some body to it With this warmth effect And with this color we can make it brighter on darker And I can't predict the changes Everything So we're adding this thing and I can't predict the changes Everything's so strange But never mind, I never care We're basically adding that presence in the low mid range And it's quite easy to overdo it So be conscious with this Let's find the right spot And I can't predict the 
it changes everything and i can't predict the changes i like the changes that thing kind of fades away in the original with this one it just stayed there and i can't predict the changes without and i can't predict the changes love it next one we have spread and spread it's a chorus that acts like a doubler it's controlled by this offset more offset means more detuned and wider less offset means less detuned and more close to the original so let's hear it in action and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care it always makes my day and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care let's solo it and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange next one we have the slap delay and it sounds like this and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange so if you leave this one in the middle, it's just the Abbey Road millisecond time, but you can make it uh, longer or shorter. And I can't predict the changes, everything's so strange, but never mind, I never care. Let's leave it in the middle and let's blend it in. And I can't predict the changes, everything's so... So the next one, it's Room. And room is just a very short reverb that is basically putting your main source into a space, into a room. Kind of work like the hyper dimension of the serum effect. And it sounds like this. And I can't predict the changes. Everything's so strange. But never mind. I never care. Let's solo it. And I can't predict the changes. Everything's so strange, but never mind. I just gonna add a little bit of it. And I can't predict the changes. Everything's so strange, but never mind. I never care. It always makes my day. The next one we have delay. And this one it's a ping pong delay. You can set this one to beat, half beat, three quarter of beat, and one quarter of beat. My favorite is three quarter and with the feedback you can control how much delays you're gonna hear more delays less delays and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care it always makes my day when you call and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind I never care, it always makes my day when you call. The last effect is a reverb, it sounds like this. And I can't predict the changes, everything's... We can set up the decay, so shorter decay, longer decay. And I can't predict the changes, everything's so strange, but never mind. And I can't predict the changes, everything's so strange, but never mind, I never care, it always makes my day. Now all these sends and the main signal get reunited into this equalizer, which is a very musical and wide equalizer that you can deactivate by clicking this button and we have a very open low shelf set around 100 hertz sounds like this and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange so the next one it's body and it's set around 350 400 hertz it's a very crucial area for vocals and let's listen to it and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange but never mind i never care it always makes next one mid and i can't predict the changes everything's so strange so this is set around 1.5k which is a very important area especially for a vocal because if your vocal sounds a little bit nasal, a little bit boxy in that annoying area, you can turn it down a little bit. I feel like I should cut a little bit this area on this vocal. And I can't predict the 
changes everything so and i can't predict the changes everything so cool presence is a very wide bell and i can't predict the changes everything so strange but never mind i never care it always makes my day when you call as you can hear even if i turn it down to zero, it still sound okay. Of course it sounds very muffled, but it doesn't sound like it completely destroy everything. So you can really have fun with these knobs and you're still gonna be fine. Of course, with no contest it's quite hard to tell if something is right or wrong to do. And next one we have air, and air just add that brightness. And I can't predict the changes, everything so strange, but never mind. I never care, it always makes my day. So with this vocal that is not very well recorded in my opinion, it adds some frequencies that sounds very digital. So it's not the perfect example for using this, but I do like to have that brightness on the vocal. And the last thing on this patch is this side control, where we can monitor the side information. Since the main vocal here was mono, everything that we're gonna hear in the side information is generated by the patch, and we can solo the side signal by clicking this. The side information can be quite uh, problematic on the low frequencies, that's why there's an high pass, so we can just high pass the side information to make it lighter. Next one is control, and control it's a compression. It's just there to keep the side information under control. The side information, when it's too much bouncy, might be problematic. So having a compressor that keep everything under control and not saying to squash it might be the right thing to do. When she's singing everything, we can really feel a spike in the side information, which is not bad in my opinion, but if in a mix it's problematic and you need to control it, then you go. The last one is stereo, and stereo opens up even more the side information if you push it or it make it a little bit narrower. And I can't predict the changes. Everything's so strange, but never mind. Just for the sake of it, let's mute the dry so we can just hear what we are adding to it all together. And I can't predict the changes. Everything's so strange, but never mind. The last thing is this limiter, and it's a brick wall limiter that prevents just going beyond 0 dB. That's it. So let's switch to a um, better sounding vocal. In the sea of night where my soul is real, broken visions let the darkness heal. <laughs> So, before in the sea of night where my soul is real in the sea of night where my soul is real broken visions let the dark Let's test it with a uh, synth. So, these three sounds are mono Let's add the announcer on this tree serum patch. The last test I want to do is just announcing uh, a saw wave and I prepared a melody that sounds like this. It's 
pretty basic. Let's see what we can do with the announcer. So if you like this patch, you can download it for free, link in the description, leave a like on the video if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more content. So hope you have fun and see you next time with another patch, bye.